Woo! Welcome back, everybody. This is episode six of Fallout. This is called The Trap. Uh, last we left our heroes, Lucy and Maximus had fallen into a trap, but they awake fine, okay, in a vault underneath an old vault um research laboratory. Um, we've got conspiracies between 30, Vault 31 and 33. 32, which was destroyed, has been rebuilt. The ghoul is missing in action. There's conspiracies. There's lost history. It's just crazy out here. Uh, so I'm thoroughly enjoying this series. I hope you guys are too. Um, do me a favor. If you do like it, if you are liking this, drop me a thumbs up real quick. Subscribe if you haven't already and ring the bell so you get this updates. Drop a comment below. That's most important. I want to hear from you guys. What do you think? What do you know? I don't, I'm not seeing any Easter eggs because I don't know what they are. Um, I've had a couple friends point out some Easter eggs in some past episodes when I've talked to them about it, but so far nobody's giving me spoilers, which is good. Cause I'm really enjoying this show. They have gone into places. I did not even remotely think that they would go, um, showing you like the, the dystopian post-apocalyptic world in just so many different layers. It's crazy. Uh, so I'm really enjoying it. I'm really getting a kick out of, out of the writing and the setups and the character development and uh, really starting to enjoy these characters. I'm really liking Maximus a lot. I love being so aggravated with Lucy's naivete um, and uh, love watching Norm starting to figure out the little nerd who's starting to put together the pieces of a puzzle. And I'm just waiting to see where it all goes. So without any further ado, this is... Episode six is called The Trap. Let's get it. Oh, wow. Old school. Yep, it's me, Cooper Howard. Star of stage and screen. Now I'm speaking to you from deep inside the fully livable model 96 JQ 1164. And what a beaut she is. Now that right there is vault four. Strong enough to keep out the rads and the reds. <laughs> now this corridor here is Sycamore Street, where you'll wave howdy to any one of your 200 neighbors. Meet the Hawthorns. Lloyd and Cassandra here are both scientists specializing in the effects of radiation on human DNA. Our family and a group of 80 volunteers will be conducting a five-year trial of Vault 4. You all are heroes in real life. And now you can be a hero, too, by purchasing a residence in a Vault Tech vault today. And cut. That was a great take. How'd we do? We were so nervous. Uh, you did great. Oh, yeah, it was really lovely you. to meet you. you Thanks for coming out. So okay. Good to meet you. Oh, Hawthorne. That's the, the, the research facility that they were trapped in last episode. I uh, came over to vault Tech in Q3 after a 10-year stint at West Tech. Oh, I'm uh, very familiar with you guys. You designed the T-45 power armor. You know, the design flaws were ridiculous, but they sure looked great. I wore the T-45 when we almost lost the great state of Alaska to the Reds. Because what is the ultimate weapon to destroy your competition? Time is the ultimate weapon. Uh-huh. The future of all humanity comes down to one word. Yeah, what's that? Management. <laughs> oh, what was that thing that was scrawled on the wall? <laughs> Don't trust the management? Is that what it was, like two episodes ago? There is a rap party. What up? A rap party. We go for a couple of hours, we shake a few hands. It's at our house. <laughs> Roosevelt, I'm sorry you can't come, buddy. <laughs> Heading into enemy territory. Beautiful home, Mr. Howard. Thank you. Mr. Howard. Mr. Howard. Yeah. Bud Askins. Right. I, Bartholomew Codsworth, am ever ready to serve. <laughs> oh, I love that dude. I think I'm drawing a blank. Loved him in the IT crowd. Matt Berry. Yeah, hilarious, dude. I love Shit, him. Shit, Seabass. 
You might be the only one of my invites who actually showed up. Not our usual scene, I'll give you that. No, it is not. I think our Hollywood actor friends don't want to be seen celebrating with the pitch man for the end of the world. You hear I lost a movie over these ads? Lonnie Lewis said it was on moral grounds. Hollywood Reds. I'm telling you, radicalism is sweeping through Hollywood like a bad case of the clap. You know which way the wind is blowing. A world run by people who wear pocket protectors to a pool party. Sell my vocal rights to that spinning robot they sell to housewives and... Guess how much they paid me for that? Ten million? No, I got 186 pre-tax. Maybe you could ask for more? Well, I did ask for more. My agent got them to throw in one of those robots. <laughs> Hollywood is the past. Forget Hollywood. The future, my friend, is products. You're a product, I'm a product. The end of the world is a product. Mm. I'd say the future is golden. To the future. To the future. Aye, Bath, Bath, all in you Codsworth am ever ready to serve. Oh, hello there, boys. Wait, wait, waiting. Take his fusion core. There's law enforcement? Destroying a legitimate business? That's illegal around these parts. Says who? The government. Vault four, huh? Mm. Using teeth for ammunition. Always finding new ways to kill each other out there, aren't they? Your friend is gonna have to recover here for a couple of days before it's safe to travel. I'm fine. You had a rotten human tooth lodged on your shoulder. You're not fine. Titus, this is a vault doctor. We should listen to his advice. Oh, and we found his armor. Our surface foragers are bringing it back now. Oh, that's great. I don't know if you've been to the surface, but it is... Not good. <laughs> I was born on the surface. Oh. Three days walk from home and we could still feel the heat from the blast. You're from Shady Sands. We were lucky to find such a hospitable community here in Vault 4. Man, I just do not trust any of these tech people, Vault tech people at all. You want to have sex? I'm a knight. Uh, we're not supposed to. Okie dokie. Man. <laughs> oh. Mm. We shouldn't be wasting time down here. You heard the doctor. Also, I would feel bad. I think these people are trying to trap us here. No, well, they're not. This is a cult. <laughs> Same as any. It's not a cult. Everyone's smiling. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt your breakfast, but our overseer wanted to say a quick hello. Overseer Benjamin, this is Lucy and Titus. Hey, guys. Just wanted to say hi to be aware of okay stay out of level 12 obviously and we only have one foosball table so if you want to play you gotta sign up uh oh and if you're unfamiliar with how the bathrooms work just ask asking is less embarrassing than getting it wrong trust me okay that should cover it <laughs> and once again welcome to vault four we're glad to have you thank you <laughs> Oh, things are weird. weird. right? Lots of people have one eye. Well, yeah. yeah his was in the middle. <laughs> to the left. And the level 12 stuff? I mean... Oh. You ever think about working somewhere else? I used to. I think about it. Quitting showbiz. Buying us a ranch up in Bakersfield. Back to being a real cowboy again. And what would I do? Help me raise chickens. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I haven't been reading too much news lately. Got me second guessing the whole city life. Oh, come on. You you've seen these around. Not on you, I haven't. I need this job, Coop. It guarantees us a spot in the vault. We've got money. We can buy a spot in the vault. One of the good vaults. What's that supposed to mean? Uh-oh. Trust me, please. Yeah. 
Sorry you couldn't make it to the party the other night, Charlie. Guess you had one of your meetings, huh? Come on, man. We watch people die together up north fighting against all that horse shit. Yeah, and for what? For the American dream. We're actors. We make movies, Charlie. Yeah, the American dream has me getting shot in the ass by you all day. You got five acres in Tarzana. I think you're doing all right. Do you know what fiduciary responsibility means? A fiduciary responsibility? Yeah. No. So the U.S. government has outsourced the survival of the human race to vault -Tec. It has the fiduciary responsibility to make money for its investors. And how does it make money? By selling vaults. That's called capitalism, Charlie. But they can't sell vaults if these peace negotiations go through. So vault -Tec has the fiduciary responsibility to make sure that it don't work out. Okay. And what happens when the cattle ranchers have more power than the sheriff? The whole town burns down. vault -Tec is a trillion dollar company that owns half of everything. And after 10 years of war, the US government is broker than a joke. The cattle ranchers are in charge, Coop. Oh, come on, man, you sound like you're in a cult. You're sitting here defending a system that's ready to set the world on fire, Cooper. Maybe you're the one in the cult. You should come to a meeting. You should learn the truth about where your wife works for her sake. That's an interesting setup. That was a great conversation. Flies today too, doesn't it? Like you can easily shift that right over today. Hello? Who is it? It's Henry. Henry from the Vault Tech Assistant Training Program. Is this Mr. Cooper Howard? I don't think uh, that was Henry from work. Do you have a, a new assistant? Yeah, I do. Is Janie asleep? Uh, she's reading Little House on the Prairie to Roosevelt. Ah. It's going to be hard on her. What is? You know, no dogs in the vaults. Oh, I'm out. <laughs> no dogs in the vault, says who? That's the policy. Yeah, you know, dogs eat meat. It's an avoidable inefficiency. All I'm asking is who decided that there were no dogs in the vault? Well, I think that is a relatively trivial concern. I'm not sure that it is, to be quite honest. Because no dogs allowed, that is a new rule. Somebody decided that and didn't share it with anyone. No, I want to know about my freedom. I didn't go to war defending that freedom so that I could live in a cellar under the boot heel of Chairman Bud Askett. I have worked hard to make sure we go into a special vault for management where we will oversee all of the other vaults. Mm hmm There you, you go. You don't get it. That is the best we can possibly hope for. Goosey McLean. Oh, no, no, it's, it's Lucy. Goosey. <laughs> nope, it says Goosey. Goosey. We're a dying breed. Oh, you're, you're from here? Five generations, been proud of it. Oh, huh. well, I just thought because people here seem to be refugees from the surface. Tell me about it. Well, these people, am I right? I don't understand. If you don't like people from the surface, then why do you keep taking them in? It's a policy from before my time. That you have to respect their traditions and tolerate them and not call them surfies. It's awful. Surfies. I like that. But it's like you can't make a funny joke about it without offending these guys. What was the joke? <sighs> I forget. All I know is it was a huge bomb. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty good, right? <laughs> <sighs> she doesn't get it. <laughs> What's on level 12, and why can't we go there? I you just... should go now. I only wanted to... Goodbye, Goosey. Goosey. Now you know they're going to end up in level 12. Need a fusion core. <laughs> He's gonna steal a fusion core. Just shut down an entire vault. I see you found our fusion core. Some people who come here have a hard time adjusting to finally feeling safe. Trust doesn't come easily to those of us with a guilty conscience. Unit 428. How about you sleep in a room of your own tonight? Have a hot shower. Nothing wrong with a little bit of comfort. Cult. <laughs> when you say hot shower, what does that mean exactly? <laughs> Why 
Wi-Fi. Nice. Give me the simple life. A cottage small is all I'm after. How you have caviar in the apocalypse? Excuse me. What is this? <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, uh, you're going to get some history here? It's a surface dweller tradition. It can get a little rambunctious for my taste. You're welcome to come. Sure. The government. <laughs> a Sorel Booker. Ah, I heard it was a ghoul that fucked up that super duper mark. Nobody told me it was the ghoul. Mm. You boys know who you just brought in? Used to be the best bounty hunter to ever shoot a man in the ass. Kids these days don't know their history. Say, you got a needle in thread. Would you mind? 200 years. I don't know what keeps you going. Or maybe you're still looking for her. Uh-oh. That's the president of the government you're talking to. You a president now? Don't say why not. Oh, this is the first I'm hearing about this outfit. Now, what I am hearing is a whole lot of chatter about some woman name of Moldava. They call her the Flame Mother. Now, that bitch is dangerous. Well, when it comes to leadership these days, dangerous is what they call a prerequisite. Somebody's got to step up and bring some order around here. You know why these boys brought you in? Cause I fucked up a poor defenseless gang affiliated organ dealership. Yep. Mm. Now I've always liked you. Well, I've always liked you. Well, ain't that sweet. But that super duper mart you gutted was under our protection. Now you got anything to say in your defense? Guilty as charged. Now why is he claiming to it when he didn't now. do it? If you need any more evidence, I can tell you about this town I just shot up. Philly? My daddy lives in Philly. Well, not no more he don't. Unless he's a coward. Don't take the bait, son. In my experience, the apple tends not to fall too far from the tree. My daddy ain't no coward. Are you? Sheriff Rex, take Sheriff Troy's guns away. Very presidential of you. <laughs> Take him out back and feed him to the hogs. Disarmed one? That just leaves one. I got one question for you, old buddy. Why do you have this picture on your wall? That's Moldaver. That's not how I remember her at all. Well, how do you remember her? Hmm. 
Nah, man, when they're switching back and forth like this, it's a huge reveal, so. They're doing the wave? <laughs> they're doing the wave. <laughs> and now things get weird. Thanks for coming. Yeah, we'll see if I stay. You'll stay. Nah, uh, I knew that chick was in it. Blame mother, we remember. We bring back the past as we remember. We bring back shady sands as we remember. We bring back those taken from us. We bring back shady sands, blood must spill. And I think there's somebody you should meet. Yeah, who's that? Mr. Howard? Big fan. Okay. So she's been... Wow. I was not expecting that. So Maldaver's as old as he is. Yeah, definitely a cult. You were right about this place. No. You were right. No, we need to leave. Right now. These people are insane. Yeah, they're like you. A little weird, but nice. I wouldn't blame you if you wanted to go back on our deal and, and just be somewhere that is good and safe. But this isn't it. They gave me a robe. I know. And slippers. These people are hiding something from us. I'm gonna prove it to you, okay? I'm not leaving without you. Level 12. Oh, what's down there, man? No guards or anything. If you're locked in, it doesn't matter. Ooh, a, a gulper? Is that what that is? A dead gulper? Okay. Not creepy at all. Only Frankenstein's lab down here. Okay, that's not good. Pregnant. Ooh. So they got like a whole bunch of pregnant women in stasis? Nose head. Glad you're all right. I saw the door was open. I worried one of you might have gotten out. Hello? The harpoon gun? <laughs> If we came to your home, we would say the same thing. Man, it just gets weirder and weirder in Fallout. I love these end credit, like, pullouts. Really cool. I like those. But, so, like, and here we go around another... Didn't see that coming turn where everything just gets like completely freaky. I mean, I, obviously they're going to have to explain this because I have no clue what's going on down there. I don't know why you're got a bunch of pregnant women giving birth to foot long tadpoles, carnivorous tadpoles. Just weird, man. I don't know. <laughs> I love, I love that. Uh, 
Max has made himself at home though. He's uh found the Lux life, so he's digging that. Um but man, Maldaver being someone that Coop knows is uh I did not see that coming at all, so that's pretty crazy. That's pretty crazy. It's gonna be so you know they're gonna have history between them, so we're gonna have to I just wait to see what that's all about. But I did notice that uh so you had the two deputies bringing him before their boss and his name was Sorel. And if any of you guys know your seventies TV, Sorel was the name of the actor who played boss hog in the Dukes of hazard. So he was like, so I think I'm willing to bet that was a little bit of an homage to Sorel, uh, being boss hog with the two deputies. Hilarious. I caught that. I actually caught that. They weren't named Enos and Roscoe, but, Hey, Lex, what'd you think? Did you like it? We got two episodes left, so I'm looking for I'm looking forward to uh watching that and just seeing how all this just comes together and wraps up. Um Thaddeus away with the head, wondering what he's gonna do. Um Yeah, there's a lot to tie up here, man. We only got two episodes to do it. So I, this is gonna it's gonna get nuts. I have a feeling this is just gonna get flat out nuts. So I'm looking forward to it. But listen, if you enjoyed this, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. Share this with your friends, neighbors, loved ones, complete strangers. But most of all, please drop me a comment below. Let me t tell me what you thought. Tell me if you caught any Easter eggs in here. I caught one. I I'm pretty sure Sorrel is an Easter egg. And I'm just going to roll with that. So I don't care. I'm proud of myself for that one. And I can't remember Sorrel's first name. He died back in like the early 80s, I think. Um, but man, I grew up watching Deuce Fast. So that was kind of a cool little call out there. I that was pretty neat to find. In the meantime, we'll do this again. So y'all come back. Stay safe. I love you. God loves you. Peace.